Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I'm your host, Game of Darius. Last we left off, we defeated some trio of dudes in the Hall of Fire. We're about to face off against Imitai in the Null Magic Hall. Don't worry, honey, your dad's the best magician in the world. He won't lose. I mean... Better not make promises that your mouth ain't gonna be able to pay out, you know? Just saying. Because we got our own reasons to win. I.e. not dying. Me fire. Uh, okay. Me pantsing. Okay. The only thing I'm good at is magic. In the null magical, I'll have to let these two fight for me. That doesn't sound like it's such a bad thing. We just gotta stay out of the way of the combat and whatnot. Right? Right. Ah, that means that Nina's gonna be practically useless too. Ah oh well. We'll figure something out. Maybe she'll chill out in the back. Fact. Probably should double check my tactics. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. Also, let's have that. Yeah. Should definitely equip her for s lack of speed. seeing whether or not we had much in the way of defense increasing stuff, but she doesn't seem to have anything like that. You're Darius, right? Your second match will be with Imitai's team here. Do you want me to explain the rules? Sure. During the Null Magic Hall, you fight on three on three teams. When choosing whom who you Yeah. Who from your team will fight, you should remember that magic can't be used at all, so be careful. Are you ready? Yes. Understood. Alright then, I'm off. Excuse me, may I come in? You're in my tie, aren't you? That's right. I know we don't have much time, but I have to talk to you. They're getting ready to start, Mr. Imitai. As I mean, know, my daughter's really sick. If I don't win this contest and get the prize money, she won't be able to have the operation she needs. I'm starting to hear that, Mr. Imitai. Are you trying to ask us to lose to you on purpose, then? I know it's a hard thing to ask you, but if you don't, my daughter will die. I know I can win the final match. My magic hasn't been beaten yet. But in the Null Magic Hall, I'm just like anybody else. All I have to, d to depend on are my two boys here. Give him a tie win, please, please. I'm sorry, but... But one of our friends is being held hostage, you see. You have to win too. Oh, I didn't know. I guess that's that then. Oh, Lila, I'm so sorry. Please forgive your poor father. I mean, we could just give him the bunny or whatnot. Life's never easy, is it? I didn't want to use this until the finals, but I've no choice. Okay, boys, let's go. I wonder what's happened to Amitai. Mr. Amitai, please come to the ring. Here I am. Just like I said, I can't do anything. I'll just have to let my boys do the fighting for me. B boys Well, we're out of time, so... Ladies and gentlemen, in this match... Team Imitai versus Team Darius. Fight! So, I forget exactly what it is these guys do in the first place. And you know, it's gonna be completely useless. Right. Uh, can Ascension? 
And I believe that attacking Umatai just makes the other dudes all pissed off and whatnot. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna test this. Also gonna snap out one of these golems. Hey, defense down. It worked. Oh, good. I'm I'm actually rather glad that I managed to block block that. Um, I forget what Spirit Blast does. I believe that it's an ability that makes it so as I take. I think my defense gets ignored. Yeah, that seems about right. And it's a physical ability, so. Not something I can really do anything about. Ah, damn dogs. Alright, well, Nina. Actually, no. Nina ought to start healing. I just don't want to get under emergency situations, you know? So, I forget exactly what happens when you manage to take out either of the golems. I forget a lot of things. So what happens when you haven't played the game in so long? Spirit Blast. Or they could just spam Spirit Blast and probably kill off Nina. This is also an option. You know? Heal yourself so you don't die. Focus on the one golem first. Then we'll... F I think what happens too is that if you end up taking out Imitai, then the golems start going berserk or some shit. I forget exactly. I'd rather not find out. Like, I th almost want to say that their defense goes up or some shit. I don't know. Not the most inventive of all the fighting that you, that's done in this game, but still, do like myself a good challenge where it's like, oh hey, you can't use these things. Forced to rely only on items in brute force. Can't even cast a good old protection spell. These guys are hardier than I remember. Hardier than I remember. Oof. That was a hard smack to Nina's or Momo's face. Let's heal that. And Momo blast the crap out of the gold. Please. If you would. I could have used the dragon abilities now that I think about it. But that would last so goddamn shortly. Although that could, in theory, hit him a couple of times. Okay, these things have some massive amount of HP. Probably should think about... I want to get at least one golem down. If I can get one golem down. Dude has so much HP, it's ridiculous. It's probably what we should start expecting from boss fights now, from now on. Soon it's just going to be us in Imitai, and that's barely going to be a fight. No. There. Like, seriously, it's barely going to be a fight at all. If at all. Ow. Well, that's an ow for Nina. Everyone else is like, ugh. I don't know why I keep on going to use an ability with her. I can't use any abilities with her. She's got nothing I can use. Ah, so, always hoping for a reprisal. 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 Oh. Mm, that's what constantly clicking the goddamn X button does for you. I mean, it's not gonna kill this golem. And that's. Yeah, the chances of that killing Imitai were really low. But still, I don't want to see what happens if these golem golems end up like going berserk or something. That would suck. HP sponges. 
Only time when an HP sponge is acceptable to me is when they are a boss fight. Because then it's all about, you know, using your resources right or making sure that you don't die. Well, now it's just you and I, Amitai. I'm, um, sorry about your daughter, but we got this whole needing to live thing going on. That, and I'm pretty sure that eventually we could take on Palio and Sunder themselves, and holy crap, that'd be fun. You know, being able to actually kick their butts and all. Yeah, it still sucks that Nina has, like, nothing physical she can do. At the same time, it's kind of pathetic, really. It's like, the frick with the null magic stuff. It's not that it's so much unfair, it's just pointless to even put them in the things. Like, oh hey. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, a magician's wrong and mage's robe. He's still alive. Ugh. Ugh. Lila. I mean, we could toss only a couple of thousands, any. All of a sudden, I don't feel so good. Hey, brats! Pretty impressive. They actually made it all the way to the finals. We don't need your compliments. Just want you to keep your promise. <laughs> Oh yeah, I promise. That depends on whether or not Darius can beat Gar. In the finals, eh? Why well, you looking so glum? Cheer up, gotta please your fans, you know. Oh, by the way. Him and his family are still in the other room. I'd stay clear of him if I were you. Imitai, I'm sorry. What's up, bro? Maybe it was the fight with Imitai? But they're getting really popular. Maybe, but when I went to check on them, they look kind of depressed. I guess they know they won't win the next one, eh? You have no clue what's going on in our heads. That's right. How could they, knowing they have to fight Gar next? I feel a little sorry for the people betting on them, but we're going to make a lot of money on this one. Besides, once the contest's over, we can do whatever we want them, right, bro? Um, it's not really my place to say, but uh, shouldn't you stop worrying and get ready for the next match? Yeah, yeah, you're right, Mr. Guard. Good luck to you. There's a lot of people rooting for you now. I mean, don't doubt it, we did just beat up a couple of golems. And I'm gonna check up on them. Mr. Emitai? Sir? Dude? Sorry for having to kick your butt? You weren't convincing enough, I told you so. I'm sorry. I'm impressed you didn't fall for my act. Can I stop coughing now? Actually, no, what am I doing punishing you? I should punish your father. Stupid idiot. Yeah. Imitai had me fooled. I bet he used the same trick against Moochie's team, too. Oh, I don't doubt it. That has passage. Oh, I know that that's pretty much a trope in most video games and anime and whatnot, but man. Just man. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to go to the Hall of Kings now, aren't we? Well, we don't need any healing items. We just need to rest and save and... 
not call an episode because that was not yet worth our time. Not the whole time, anyhow. And I don't think that there's anything else I need from the shops. Shouldn't be anything. Still wish I had steel as an ability, but uh, at least then I would be able to get like free weapons from the next couple of fights I've been having. Okay, this is our room. So let's check out where Gar is. Where is Gar, anyways? Maybe we can convince him to forfeit the match. Hi, big guy. Hmm. So you made it to the finals, eh? Pure luck could never have taken you this far. Don't mind us, we're just gonna be looting your place. Alright, we already looted it. Alright. Let's see if we can't uh, have Darius kick the butt of... Gar. Chances? I don't know. Slim to none. Are you ready? Welcome to the finals. A one on one match between team leaders. Please wait here until your name is called. What is it, Gar? What would you do if someone caught on to us, eh? That kid I'm going to be fighting. Where did he come from? How did he get so strong? Well, it's like this he looks like any other kid, but he's really a dragon. Hey, he's nothing for you to worry about, right? I mean, it's just kid, yeah? Hey, bro. Do you think maybe Gar's ears scared? Whoa, ho, ho, hold on, it was, it was just a joke. Now, now, Gar. We're just telling you to be careful, see? A dragon, are you serious? Yeah, but like we said, nothing for you to worry about, right? I would not still feeling bad about Emitai. That'd be silly. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Today's big event, the world famous contest of champions. Final match. First, here's our challenger. Believe it or not, our challenger today is a child. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to welcome our superboy, Darius. And in this corner, the one and only, the wings of death, the master of the blade, the champion of champions, Mr. Dynamite Gar. Darius. Let me tell you one thing. Don't hold back. If you don't fight with all you've got, I'll kill you. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? The champion gives no quarter even against a mere child. This is going to be a showstopper of a fight, folks. Without further ado, allow me to present to you the final match of the contest of champions. Ready? Fight! By the way, off topic of the whole fight thing, if you looked in the uh, crowd there when they were panning around, you can actually see Chung Lee and Sakura from Street Fighter in the crowd. Let's get our asses handed to us, shall we? I'm, I'm going to try to put up as much of a fight as possible, it's just that I don't know whether or not this fight is possible to win. <laughs> Well, because he can do a butt ton of damage and he is resilient to all bassetry. Like, let's use Defender and Flame. 
This will make us resistant to Gar's various fire attacks, as well as, you know, making it so as most of his physical attacks shouldn't do as much damage. I say as much damage because they still do a butt ton of damage. Seriously, we can't always defend some. No, doesn't seem possible. Okay, let's let's produce a counter. Counter is actually stupid effective, especially when you know you're about to get hit. Oh, lucky strikes. Okay, countering it for about the same amount of damage. Now he is just laying waste to our HP. Flame Claw! Okay, that did nothing. And just natural old fire attacks. Yeah, Dragon versus uh, massive awesome guy. He is not pulling any punches, that's for sure. Now we're about to lose our dragon form this next turn. Full on fight, Bassage. That's gonna do like no damage to us. Excellent. Just hoping for a reprisal. Alright, well, we are now shite out of luck because that was all of our HP. Or MP. AP. And the most I could do is toss uh, rainbow trout into the air, gain back a little bit, and turn into another fire whelp. It's not likely to help. I don't think he could be blinded either. Let's double blow. <laughs> eh. Eh. Oh yeah, that, that hurts considerably more. No, it doesn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, crap. Did he just go all, let's finish this? Yes. And so the mighty battle waged by these mighty warriors comes to a finish. And the victor is... Our champion! The undefeated! The champion of champions! Mr. Dynamite Gar! Congratulations, champion! And now, Mr. Gar, we're going to ask you what you want as your prize. And to present the prize, here's our MC, Mr. Balio! I can ask for anything I want, right? But I want Darius and his friends, okay? What? What? Are you crazy? It's not what we agreed on! Was I mistaken? I thought the winner of the contest of champions was awarded whatever he wanted. No, if that's the case, maybe I could take your life. Yes. To the champion Gar, we award Darius and his friends. I guess. Darius, you're awake. I held back on purpose. I'm glad he's alright. So, and I'm gonna take care of you, understand? Hmm. That's right. There's one more hostage, isn't there? We should go too, don't you think? That's it for another year. Oh, it certainly wasn't a bad year. Never would you think that you'd see a child turn into a freaking dragon on the stage to fight your champion of champions, did you? Sounds like a pretty damn good year to me. So, uh, let's go pick up Peko. 
seen as uh, apparently Gar wanted us as our prize. Kind of weird saying that aloud. Contest of Champions is over. Thanks for coming. Ah, I can't wait until next year. Honestly, it would be kind of cool if this would be like a yearly thing that you could do in the game. Ah, oh well. This way to the exit. That's not the right way. How is this not the right way? Oh, right. <laughs> These kids are mine now, right? I'm taking them with me. Let's go, Paco! I can do whatever I want with something. That's mine, right? Alright, kids. We can all go now. So that's that. Hey, bro. What's going on? Beats me. I don't know what Gar is up to. Do you think Gar has turned on us? If so, things can get a little messy. Can't just let them go. Not after all they put us through. Why did you help us, Mr. Gar? Because there's an ancient race that possesses an indomitable power called the Brood. I helped you because Darius. Darius is Brood. Darius, I won't ask for anything in return. But if you want to know more about your kind, the Brood, there's a place east of here called Angel Tower. Go there. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Gar's not such a bad guy after all. Anyways, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit the inn first. Because that seems like the most logical place to go. And then I'm gonna call an episode. When we return, I guess we're going to be hitting up Angel Tower. Uh, hopefully I should be able to get the chance to talk to Delonzo and some of the other uh, people, masters, yes, and get Pecco to get us some more of their abilities. Most notably, Delonzo's, because I want those skills. In any case, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.